Okay, there we go. So, as you can tell, I've got more than a good few of what I want to do, but I'm never going to get enough time. Because y'all do love this series, and I am so glad you do. Anyway, I'm going to pause it right here so y'all can constantly look at this picture, and I don't have to worry about my phone going off. Anyway, one sec. Alright, what's good, everybody? What's good, what's good? Also, welcome new members of the channel. I've been reading your comments. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> anyway, so one of y'all said just a few minutes ago that I should do Rock a Dirty. Trust me, I plan on it. You just gotta wait for the build up, okay? Just believe me when I say she's gonna get dirtied. Trust trust in me okay so i'm gonna retcon and change a few things first when i say remember how i said that izuku wasn't the only one to get sent to this world see i'm gonna include a few more people instead of just kirishima denki and denki it's gonna be all kirishima denki todoroki and mineta because Mineta and he's Lubbock and neither of them have realized it yet <laughs> oh man he doesn't have purple hair he does look like Lubbock but he is more like Mineta if you know what I mean there's only one Mineta and boy am I glad <laughs> anyway so hmm what did I leave off oh yeah uh they're having a party, right? I think that's where I left off. I don't remember. Poopy doopy. Poop. Anyway, yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, last where I left off, they were having a party. You know, Izuku and Akame come back, and they're like, what's going on? You know, everyone else is like, we're having a party. You two got to get... You know, and Izuku's like, how did you find out already? We just... He turns to look at Sue, and he's like, Susano. You know, Sue's in the middle of drinking, you know, he stops, you know, his face, you know, his face gets those purple lines like, oh crap, I've been found out, I might be in trouble. And he's like, so Sue, you mind explaining something to me? And he's like, uh, whatever you're thinking, it wasn't me. You know, Izuku grabs... Sue's shoulder, and he's like, come on, let's go have a chit-chat. He's like, uh, boss, you okay? And he's like, I'm perfectly fine. Although you won't be, you know. And he releases some aura, and everyone's like, oh, well, Sue, Sue's dead. <laughs> no use trying to save him. You know, Bulat's like, dang, I didn't he think he could be that mean. You know. Uh, after, you know, they see Izuku and Sue cross the forest line, they just see pillars of, like, dust, and then they hear screaming, and, you know, they hear, like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, and he's like, get, get back here, <laughs> and, you know, Sue tries to jump out, but Izuku grabs him by the collar and yeets him back in and says, I'll be back in a minute. You know, and then immediately disappears, and then like five minutes later, he's dragging Sue back out. I know, I know, I messed Sue up, I apologize. Not really. <laughs> anyway, so Izuku, you know, he... I'm gonna say that Najinda was able to question him about his quirk, and he told her the truth about what his power is. But before he, you know, he was going to, but before he could, you know, uh, All Might took over? No, yeah, All Might, All Might said, <laughs> yeah, nice try. May not seem like it, but I'm not that much. I, hmm, I won't fall for some, those cheap tricks so easy. Anyway. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what those first few pictures were in the beginning, those were other what-ifs I had planned, or just something else entirely. 
that I was planning on doing, or just stuff you don't need to worry about. Anyway, um, hmm, I'm trying to think. What do I want to do? Oh, yeah. So, okay. I'm going to tell you something. Uraraka is in this world, okay? And, like I said, Bakugo is too. Now, uh, I don't know if I recorded that, this part or not, but if I ever said Uraraka was in Ez Death's head, see, I'm retconning that. No, that that's not true. See, Uraraka, I'm gonna gender bend the minister. Oh, I'm about to do, I'm about to do something real dirty. Uraraka is minister honest. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Honest in this is a girl. This is going to be great. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I'm gonna love. I'm gonna love doing this. So to the person who said, you know, you can't wait until you figure out what I'm gonna do to her. You know, uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what the anime did to the minister, to Minister Uraraka. If you don't know what I mean, well, ah. Uh, just, just wait a little while. Just, just wait a bit. Wait just a teeny tiny bit. Oh yeah, update on the gate what if and any other what ifs you want to see, like what if Deku was the Ghost Rider, or anything like that. If you want anything like that, like if you want, you know, tell me anything else that you want, because this se- I want to make this series as long as possible. I might just merge the My Hero, I might just throw Izuku and the Akame got Kill Night Raid into Izuku, into My Hero World. Anyway, um, so once Izuku, you know, please stop, please stop, I'm making a video. Please stop, I'm making a video. Hmm. Anyway. So, once Izuku was... You know, it was the next day, he woke up, Akame was just chilling. You know, she was asleep, light, leaning on him. You know, they were laying down. It, it, it was off show. It was like, huh. Oh so relaxing you know then uh not no oh god yes yes kirishima burst in through the door like shh, shh. i'm making a video please stop i'm trying to make a video you guys You both said the other's name. Don't really care. It's whatever. Anyway. So, Kirishima! Yes! Kirishima! Oh, I'm never gonna get over that. That was a, just freaking adorable. You can't tell me otherwise. If you do, you're a monster. No. No, I was dumping something out. Don't say that. And why do you need a mirror? Remember how they did this cap right here? Just... Gone. They put something in it and stuck in there. I can't get it out. That's to it's fill like... the cavity. It's to make yeah. it... It's to make it not... How do I get it out? You can get it out. If you take it out, your, your tooth will... The muscle in your... The flesh under your teeth would be exposed. Because that's what's covering it. That's what cavities are. Cavities are something that exposes the... Stop! For the love of God. Yeah, this is good. I already picked it out. 
Anyway. Man, I want something to drink. It's whatever. Go! I don't want to hear your face, bro. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, when Izuku, you know, was done, Dylan, you know, after, you know, Kirishima ran in and said, Yo, Izuku, you know, Susano immediately jumped out, punched Kirishima in the face and said, I will take care of this human master. And he's like, don't kill them. Just make him shush. Tell him five more minutes. You know, Izuku was like, Wait, why was that voice so familiar? You know, his eyes were open, he's like, Crap, Kirishima! And Kirishima was like, Ow, my jaw! Whatever that thing was, it hit his heart. You know, Todoroki's like, You need help up, friend? You know, Kirishima's like, Yeah, thanks, Toto. Thanks, Joe. You know, is it, uh, Todoroki helps Izuku up. Not muscle, uh, the flesh under your teeth, because there's flesh under your teeth. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Where'd my cup go? So anyway, once, you know, Izuku was, you know, he, after he jumped up, he was like, crap, 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 Kirishima! You know, yelled Kirishima, and, and, you know, everyone's like, wait a minute. You know, everyone from MHA is like, wait a minute. Who said Kirishima's name? He's like, oh yeah, I found Midoriya. And everyone's like, what? M Midoriya's here? You know, Aizawa was like, problem child? You know, um, I forget, I forgot all who I sent here. Um, I think I also sent Mina. I think I also sent Mina. I don't know. I might have. If I did, yeah. Wait, can I drink out of get? Can I get water out of the refrigerator? What? Can I get water out of the? I wouldn't. Oh, crap. Anyway, so I'm going to say, uh, Izuku, after, you know, right outside, he was like, guys, you know, they're all like, Izuku, you know, Izuku runs up and is like, where the heck have you guys been? <laughs> you know, he's lost for words. They're also lost for words. They're just like, we're glad to see you're okay. And Izuku's like, same. You know, everyone at night grade is super confused. Akame is just waking up. She's just like, Izuku. You know, she grabs Izuku by the collar. And, you know, he's like, oh, well. Akame, hold on. You know, and Akame's like, no, I'm sleepy. You know, everyone, you know, uh, all the MHA characters are like, huh. You moved on really quick. He's like, guys, shut up. This is Akame. Akame, these are my friends and my sensei. You know, everyone introduces themselves and, you know, Kami? I think it's Kami? You know, the one with the, uh, the one you know the one girl with the uh, makeup box that can make herself look like anyone? 
that's what I'm talking about when I say, you know, she, you know, everyone gathers around, all of the Night Raid members gather around, you know, and Nadja says, okay, so who do you think our group is, you know, working good? You know, and she starts talking that crab no jutsu like she did in the anime, you know, and then she says, maybe if one of our members wasn't so incompetent and so worried about hurting about losing people like this job entails we wouldn't have lost we wouldn't have a member who's barely able to keep up you know izuku you know he cracks his neck he's like i'm sorry say that again you know kirishima's like izuku that's a bad move dude He's like, Kirishima, shut. You know, Izuku's like, Kirishima's like, well, I've done all I can do. I'm out. I don't want to get, I don't want to get murdered. Leave me out of this. And he's like, don't worry. You're not going to get hit. Although I intend to hit her a lot. You know, and Aizawa steps in between them and is like, I have a better way of settling this. How about the first one of you to complete an assignment that I was sent here to give to your boss wins? Zuko's like, what's the assignment? Wipe out an Imperial Fist Temple. Wipe, exterminate one of Minister Honest's lackeys and wipe out all of his guards. Simple. You know. And for the other one, you can... You can see if you can't take out this evil uh, judge who's wrongly convicting people. You're both going to do it at night. Zuko's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna win. You know, Chelsea's like, <laughs> fat chance. He's like, Oh, them's fighting words, little girl. She's like, what do you mean? I'm older than you. And he's like, no, you're not. And she says she's 16. He's like, cool. I'm almost 18. You know, and everyone's astonished, except for, you know, the My Hero crew, because they can kind of tell. No, I'm just playing. Even the My Hero crew's astonished. They're like, hold on. How long have you been here? Well, how long have you guys been here? I don't know. We just kind of... Hmm. You know what's good? The way I'm going to do it is... Aizawa is as young as uh, the rest of the people that are there. So he's like in his teenage years. It's like, yeah, you're kind of cool. I'm trying to think of what uh, I can do. Okay, so we're going to cut to Jill. Or Chelsea, I think that's her name. Yeah, it's Chelsea. Anyway, Chelsea, you know, she's about to sneak up on the judge, you know. She does her job, and then she starts making her way back towards, you know, Night Raid's base. Izuku, you know, she passes by Izuku, where Izuku was, to see if he's still behind. And once she gets there, um... So, if any of you have seen... Hmm. You know who Alucard is? Yeah, if you know who Alucard is, you know where I'm going with this. It's Alucard level gore. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be nasty. So. 
by what that means is there are bodies everywhere some missing their heads you know some missing other limbs some impaled on flagpoles and in the big old center a dragon's head with the main guy he was sent to Turk Earth to get out with and like a giant dragon painting made of blood so it is pretty gory you know she almost throws up as she sees Zuku and Incursio howl and then fly off like supersonic speed I'm sorry, I had to. I had to make the joke. Don't leave, please. I'm lonely. No. I just lost like five subscribers for making that one joke, didn't I? Oh man. Now I'm nervous. Anyway. So, once Izuku got back to the base, you know, he's like, oh. I had to put a little finishing touch on mine, but mine's done. You know, and then Chelsea shows up and she's like, that, what are you? You know, she's scared. He's like, what are you talking about? I just did my job. He's like, she's like, yeah, sure. Putting all those people on spikes. Dissembling? Disassembling them? That's just... <laughs> Ziku chuckles and he's like, So you saw? I'm gonna go in my room. Anyway. So, once Izuku... You know... Had finally gotten back to his room. You know, he went to go lay down. And then Akami came in. She's like, hey, can I? He's like, don't even have to ask. Get in. Come on. You know. Uh, and then the next day, you know, he's like, all right, me and Bulat, not Bulat, uh, what's his name? Lubbock. Lubbock. That's his name. Lubbock. Me and Lubbock are going to go up on these mountains to find out what these new danger beasts are up to. Because they've already been informed about the new danger beasts. You know. And the uh, Izuku, you know, the Deku. Essentially all of, you know, the My Hero Squad. Basically are like, staying there now with them. And they're like, alright Izuku, you know. If you need anything, you know what to do. He's like, yep. Anyway, I'm gonna go. You know, he equips Incursia, which looks freaky. It looks like almost like a dragon. And then he dips. You know, once he gets to the place, I'm gonna say he de-equips Incursio, lands. And he's like, man, it feels good to stretch. You know, by the time he got there, he had already taken out several danger beasts, and it was nighttime. Now, one thing I forgot to mention with Incursio. See, since it bonded to Deku, it's technically got a new ability. You know how Deku's quirk is supercharged, and it absorb, absorbs all forms of energy? Well, now Incursio can eat things. Yes, the armor can devour danger beasts and other in other imperial arms, gaining their properties. So, let's say, you know, the armor ate the Murasame. When, you know, Izuku created the pole arm, it could be, you know, he can shift it into whatever he wants. He tends to keep it in a scythe, like a reaper scythe, though. When he, you know, it would have the Murasame's curse. It cuts something and the poison. Yeah, essentially, that's what it is. Anyway, so, Izuku is kinda OP now. 
which means, you know, if it even took a nibble of S deaths, it would gain the ability to, you know, go Todoroki. Like, supersonic freeze. Anyway. <laughs> or if it ate G Great General Buddha's Imperial Arms, you know, lightning. You know, he would turn to Dinky like, Pikai Chip. I'm a freaking jerk. Oh man. So he runs into Ez Death, right? Right. You know, they get sent to the island. Izuku, you know, he's more on edge, so he's more careful about Ez Death. He, he's not trying to convince her to join. He's convincing her, like, listen, I still plan on joining the Imperial Army. But if you don't change, we're gonna end up as enemies. And, you know. He's trying to convince her, like, he doesn't want to be her enemy. You know, and she's like, but if you go, we are, though. He's like, all right, I've had enough of this. You know, and he's really tired. You know, he goes to take a nap. And I'm going to say he's laying right where the portal opens. And as that, you know, already ran off, you know, he hears the portal starting up. He's like, finally. All right, you know. When, she, after she runs off, he doesn't say anything, he just dips, you know, and then I'm gonna say, you know, he cre he summons Incursio, but I'm gonna say, you know, he created two extra arms to grab the outer ring of the circle, and he's trying to pull it shut, which he manages to, to do successfully, so now no more portal. Also, it started eating away at the magic that Shabala you know, Baku, oh man, I forgot I made Bakugo, the minister's son, crap, okay, so when Baku sees Izuku, he immediately is like, nope, not gonna do all that, you go into here, and when he releases, he realizes, like, I shouldn't have done that, oh well, it's not like I can't take the stupid nerd, he's probably just as weak as he ever was, Little does he know, he's absolutely shattered with three different, no, now four different Imperial Arms. Because after eating just a tiny bit of Shambhala's teleportation magic, now he can freaking teleport. <laughs> By placing, you know, he just, I'm going to say for him to do it, you know, he just, you know, touches something and then he basically makes a portal on it. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be alive or dead or inanimate. It doesn't matter. He touches it. He, if he wants to make a portal on it, portal, boom. Haha. -ha. So I'm just saying when he gets home, you know, home, he's like, guys, I ran into S death, you know. And then he spills everything that happened and he realizes, like, hey, you know, he walks up to a comment and he's like, listen, I'll tell you before, like I told you, I'll tell you, I gotta tell you something. You know I'll always be there for you, right? And she's like, right? He's like, good. Good to know you know I'll always be there for you. You know, he, he touches your face. And then he, you know, a symbol, uh, you know, the magic circle appears on his hand and goes through it onto Akame's face. No one sees the symbols besides Izuku because he's the only one who wants to see them. Anyway, I'll be in my room for a little bit, you know. He touches the floor to create a summoning circle, you know, a teleportation circle there. I'm gonna say, you know, he's like, alright, I'm gonna go out. You know, I'm gonna say he may, I'm gonna say he uses, he can already use Incursio to full power, so he can essentially be invisible forever, and he's really good at hiding his presence. You know, he says, in course you, you know, and the armor appears, he goes cloaked. And I'm going to say, you know, he's sneaking around through the Imperial capital. I'm going to say he places a summoning circle on the back of the Emperor's chair. The Emperor wasn't there, so he couldn't kill him or the minister. No, the minister was there. And she and the minister looks a lot like Uraka to Deku. You know, he writes this off as just him being paranoid. Well, does he know it's actually Uraka? 
This is gonna be one funny reunion. <laughs> you know, while he was gone, Aizawa and all the others explained how they got there. <laughs> you know, Bulat ties this all in the story he heard from Izuku. He was like, so. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I gotta go blow my nose. I'm sorry, yo. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. Anyway. So, you know, he gets back to the place. You know, all of the night, all the night raids look at him, like, you know, kind of teary eyed. Like, music is like, what? You know, Akame walks up to him and, you know, immediately. I don't know what I want to do. Because, you know what, screw it, I'm going to do that. She smacks him in the face, and he's like, okay, ow, what was, you know, and then she kisses him, and he's like, mm, you know, in his face, he's like, what is going on today? You know, and she's like, I'm sorry, I, I should have known, I, you know, she's crying, she, he's like, whoa, slow down, what's up? You know, and she tells him what the others told him, he's like, dang it, you, you know, he's like, dang it, you guys, I didn't want them to worry, he was like, what the heck, you guys, I told, I thought I said I wanted to keep it secret, and they're like, we know, that's why we told them, we knew you would keep it secret like you did from us, like you did back then, you would do it to them. And make them make them think you're okay when you're not. Izuku, you need to understand. We're just here to help you. You know, he's like he's like Look. I'm gonna tell you something. First, those two are in this world. Okay? I found this out a little while ago. I know Uraraka might be here, but Bakugo is definitely. You know, all of the night raids, like, oh yeah, we gonna kill him. And then Bulat steps up and he's like, listen, kid, you got some kind of healing quirk in there, right? He's like, maybe? I don't know. You know, he scratches his face a little. And, you know, one of the users is like, you know, he, one of the users takes over Izuku, so his eyes change color, and so does his hair. And he's like, you know, the user puts his hands behind his head and is like, yep, I have a healing quirk. <laughs> you know, everyone's like, what's going on? What'd you do to Izuku? He's like, don't worry, One for All is just really strong within the kid. We're able to take over his body every once in a while. Actually, Najita was the first one to figure this out. You know, and she's like, what? Yeah, you talked to Toshinori all night. The sh one of the strongest users before Izuku over here. Our main, my, our main man Izuku. Anyway, so why do you want me to heal? Why do you want to be healed anyway? So I can go beat the all living crap out of that Bakugo kid with my bare hands. I don't even want to use Incursio. And you know the kid's like, <laughs> that might be a really bad idea. And he's like, why? Because the kid has an Imperial Arms, along with his explosion, so you might want to take some precautions. Although, it only works if he's sweating. So if you just keep him really, really cold, he shouldn't be able to sweat, which neutralizes one of his powers, which is really convenient. You know, Izuku's like, alright. You know, he's like, get out of my Hey, give me my body back! And he's like... You know, the one for all users like, no. You know, the one for all user snaps his fingers and the green aura surrounds Izuku's hand and then he touches uh, Bulat's shoulder and Bulat's instantly healed and he's like, you're welcome. You know, Izuku's like, why did you do that? And, you know, the one for all users like, because he, they deserve it. Don't worry about, you know, Toshin always like, don't worry about them young Midoriya. They're not coming to hurt you. I can promise you that much. 
you know, he's like, dang it, all might. <sighs> I have a piggy bank in my room. I don't know how much money is in it. I know there's a lot of money in it, but I don't know how much. Anyway. So, once, oh, you know, Izuku came back, he's like, promise me you won't go after them. Please. I don't want you guys to get hurt. You know, they chuckle. They're like, we won't, you know, ever all of them kind of laugh at Izuku. They're like, we'll be fine. You know, uh, Akame's like, we'll be fine, Izuku. Oh, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, but I want to. Oh, but I really, really don't want to. But I do. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, you may be wondering, what am I going on about? Trust me, if you say, do the thing in the comments, I will do what I'm thinking of doing in the next part. Trust. Trust in me, brothers. Just tell me if you want me to do it. I won't be upset. I'll be a little, like, okay. But, you know, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine. You know, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll be like, okay, I do it. Um, where where do I go from here? Uh, oh yeah, there's the Pantheon thing that I could do. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do, 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 do. What do I want to chew? I don't know what I want to do. Like, honestly. I know there's a lot of episodes in Akame I Kill, but this isn't a lot like Akame I Kill. A lot of stuff is different. <gasps> oh, man. I just thought of something cool to do. Okay. See... Inko is dead, okay? I'm sorry, she is. Anyway. So, you know, the only part that Chelsea heard was, you know, the description of Inko Midoriya and how that she died shortly after, you know, they figured, I'm gonna say Aizawa lived for a little bit longer, so he wasn't dead, so he figured out that Inko Midoriya had died. And she thought of the perfect way to get back at Deku for screwing her over. You know, while Izuku's sleeping, she taps on his forehead and transforms into his mother as he's waking up. And she's like, hey, Izuku. You know, Izuku's eyes shoot open. He looks to his side and he sees Kame. He's like, no. Chelsea, get out. You know, Izuku's a little angry. He's like, she's like, what? You like, did you, do you know this person? I heard the others talking about her. Apparently her name is Inko? I think. It's like, Chelsea, stop it. You know, she's like, what? Oh, you want to know something else I found out? I found out she's dead. Yep. The one person you cared about most is dead. And there's nothing... You know, I'm making Chelsea a bit of a beep in this. So when she says dead, Izuku grabs her face and starts squeezing. Like, he's a... You know, he's getting real close to going... You know, Izuku's hair is starting to float up just a little bit, like... You know, it's kind of like going up and then coming back down and then continually, continuously doing that. You know, it's not standing up, but it's almost there. He's like, Chelsea, leave now. You know, he grabs his arm and forces it off of her and is holding it. You know, Chelsea, you know, she's scared, so she turns off the illusion and then dips. Because, you know, once she gets out, she's like, I've never seen him act like that before. Now, there's three reasons he's equal like this. See, he's salty that he was killed by his ex and that she's alive again. Two, he just doesn't like Chelsea for what she said. And three, Incursio. <laughs> yes, Incursio is screwing with his temper. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? 
crap, I got a pack. No, I'll do it in a little bit. What the? Why do you fall? You're about to go the other way. You bad. Bad, 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 way. Anyway. So, Izuku, after like, I don't know, like 10, 20 minutes, he finally went back to sleep. He was so angry that, you know, like, energy was kind of, not, not energy, like, okay. He went to sleep, but he was still really angry. Akame noticed this and, you know, she grabbed Izuku's head and put it between her melons. Her melons. Izuku's like, you know, that instantly calmed him down. <laughs> Yeah, this is how this game is going to be played. Anyway, so, you know, Izuku was in his mindscape when, you know, he saw Incursio, like, uh, the transforming Danger Beast, the S-Class one, I don't remember its name. Tyrant? Yep, Tyrant, Tyrant, that's the name. You know, he sees Tyrant and he's like, whoa, you're a really big dragon. You know, Tyrant laughs like, yeah, I get that a lot. Anyway, how are you, kid? You know, Izuku's like, I'm fine. What do you want? He's like, nothing much. Just wanted to tell you, don't let anybody screw with you, okay? I'm tired of just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just... I guess since I'm bonded with you, I feel your anger. And there's so much of it that it makes me... You know, it makes me sad that you've had to deal with so much. You know, and Izuku knows he's trying to play him. He's like, so what do you want, Tyrant? He's like, let me take over. I can make all of your anger go away. And he's like, <laughs> nice try. You know, Tyrant's like, well, you caught me. So, I gave it away. He's like, no one ever helps anyone willingly. You know, Tyrant's like, oh, really? Then, uh, why did you? He's like, that's, be that's different. Just stay out of my head. You know, Tyrant's like, <laughs> whatever you say, kid. By the way, you might want to wake up soon. He's like, why? Because I took over your body for a little bit in time. You know, Izuku's like, what did you do? He's like, you'll see when you wake up. Nah, I'm just playing. You know, when he wakes up, he sees that nothing happened. So he's like, that stupid tyrant. Yeah. And then, uh, he, you know, nah, yeah, Tyrant really didn't do anything, he was just saying that to screw with him. Sorry. Anyway, so Izuku, you know, he got up, he went outside, and he started training. You know, everyone says hi. Akame walks up to him and is like, breakfast is ready. You know, he's like, thanks. Uh, thanks. Uh, uh, they? I don't know what he wants to call her. I'm just going to say he calls her Bay. You know, she's like, aww. You know, the only pass by like, oh, they're already giving each other nicknames. You know, uh, I'm gonna say Azawa has his capture scarf somehow. He like he figured out how to make it. You know, he grabs it and he's like, leave Problem Child alone. Let the love blossom. I've been waiting for him to get someone right for the past 16, like over 40 years. You will stop it now. And she's like, what? I'm technically his father in our world. Shut up and let's go. You know, um, he's like, you know, is it, uh, Kame and Izuku, you know, go, you know, they go for a walk in the forest. 
They talk about a whole bunch of stuff. And Izuku tells Akame, you know, they, hmm. Hmm. You know what, screw it, we'll do it later. Anyway, so now it's time for the fight. Fight, 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 fight. Anyway, I'm... Oh, yeah, never mind, I remember now. Anyway, so Izuku, you know, I'm gonna say he, there was a second pumpkin. Screw it, there was a second pumpkin, yeah. So, they were like, so what are we gonna do with this second pumpkin? You know, Izuku's like, don't know. Then the sword on his back, you know, and Curcio jumps out, turns itself into a suit of armor, and then I'm just gonna say it devours it, and then, you know, transforms back into a sword. No, like, uh, the blade, you know, Izuku at the time was swinging his sword around outside, and when he swung it, you know, in the way they were, I'm gonna say, you know, the blade, kind of just like erupted into a whole like a really long metal a really big metal mouth that started going straight towards the imperial arms Izuku was trying to hold it back but uh it wasn't working too well because it was dragging he's like what do I do you know he uses one for to punch his you know punch his fist into the ground and keep him steady and as he's trying to pull in Curcio back he's like hey Curcio what are you doing you know Everyone was like, what's going on? You know, they see it just trying to eat the other adventurous bumper pumpkin. So they bring it a little closer, and they realize that's what it's after. And they're like, Izuku, it wants these, this Imperial Arms. Why? It's like, dang it. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. It likes eating other... It has a tendency to eat things. And they're like, what do you mean? Well, he's in, eating one Imperial Arms. One other imperial arms you know they're like what it's eaten a danger beast before and i gained the danger beast abilities i think it wants to eat the imperial arms to see if it'll do the same you know and they're like what are you talking about it'll do the same he's like okay basically he wants to eat it so he can see if he can gain its ability you know, and they're like, okay, you know, they toss it, and they're like, Izuku's like, why did you do that? That was such a dumb idea. What if it doesn't work? You know, immediately after he says, what if it doesn't work, uh, Incursio's blade turns into a sniper rifle, and he's like, oh, apparently this is how this works now. And then it turns back into a sword, and Izuku sheaths it, and he's like, oh, I can't believe this. So, yeah, I'm going to say it was time to murder the Pope dude. You know, I'm going to say, you know, Izuku is going to be one of the ones running in. And since, you know, the dog chick doesn't have an Imperial Arms anymore, per se, she's not going to be there. Who would do Izuku dirty? I'm trying to think. Huh. Ooh, I I know I know who do 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 Izuku dirty. I know who do Izuku dirty. Nah, never mind. Anyway, so Izuku gets in there. He sees as death, and he's like, "All right." You know, Incursio is freaking out like. They can see, you know, the plates moving to look more monstrous and then back to normal. You know, the mask is trying to open up to reveal, like, teeth. Like, you know how Incursio's mask is pretty much, the mouth part of the mask is split in half and then down at the jaw? Basically, it's trying to open up sideways and down to reveal, like, hundreds of rows of teeth and then it's trying to make, the, you know, the eyes are changing color and like changing frequent like crazy 
and then there's like two four eyes on like the side things that I'm trying to like open but Izuku's holding them shut while also trying to stop Incursio from transforming again he's like Incursio stop it you know Tyron's like but we can take her imperial arms she won't be a problem with no power and, you know he's like you may be right but that would involve killing her he's like What's wrong with that? You hurt, screw it! You know, Izuku lets go, and then the entire suit changes to look like a giant juggernaut. It looks like a whole dragon, wings and everything. You know, the cape ripped apart and then formed into wings. You know, the mouth opens up, the neck elongated. And I'm gonna say, as if trying to dodge me, got her arm. <laughs> and now I'm gonna consider that eating, a, you know, getting a part of her, because it's her entire freaking arm. So now he has the ability to ice, ice, baby. I'm sorry. So he freezes as death in place by slamming his left hand in the ground, left hand, which freezes as death without freezing him, and he's like, huh, this Imperial Arm is useful, you know, Izuku's mouth, you know, the dragon's mouth opens up really wide, and just, nom, 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 <laughs> so as death is dead, um, I know, I know, I did as death dirty, but, trust me, it's the quickest way to get through this next few bits, so, Izuku immediately passes out, after everyone's escaped so you know general budo captures izuku nah 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 you know they all get away no as if isn't dead she froze time right before izuku froze her created an ice clone and then dipped okay okay so he ate an ice clone he still has her full capabilities and then some but ice claw. Ice claw. Anyway. So Izuku after being done dealing with literally everything at the moment, you know, he goes to sleep. You know, uh, the fight between, you know, the groups happen, you know, Chelsea's head gets put on a spike, which, Bula finds her head on the spike. I'm just still gonna say he took Wave's Imperial Arms just to do Wave dirty, because I don't like Wave. Oh man, so now they have Grand Chariot and Super Incursio. Oh man, this is this is dirty. Anyway, so pretty much Izuku does get captured somehow magically. And then you know, Mine loses her life saving Izuku. Basically, everyone except for her is alive in Night Raid. Then they do a moment of silence. You know. 10 minute, you know, a few hours later, they're ready to attack the capital, which we'll do in the next part. I know the next part will be the end.